it's the chicken breast I soaked in the pickle juice overnight, and it's going to be, what is it, Ava? Pickle? Fried chicken strips. Fried pickle chicken strips. All right, so here we go with him. Okay, we're going to start out with it. two whole eggs. We're going to add some seasoned oil or whatever your favorite stuff is like that. I don't really measure, I just kind of throw it in there. Um, a little bit of black pepper. Or black pepper, baby. Oh, right here, okay. So we'll add just a little bit of black pepper for seasoning as well. That should be enough right there. And we're going to batter this up like so. Mixing all these ingredients together. When it's done, we're going to start adding our chicken strips in here. And we're just going to mix them. Like this. Get all that they egg. They did turn out really well. And they cut Get all your egg on here so that the flour will stick very good. And just essentially put everything in here one time. There's no big thing and then we're going to turn this stuff by hand yes it's a good issue but it's um essential to get that batter to stick by having that egg in there okay and the next thing we'll do is self-rising flour can you open that for me um, i only got one hand <laughs> there again you're not going to measure it's just going to pour a lot of it in here So that right. Now you're going to take both hands like this and you're going to, you're going to turn and turn and turn and get this flour coated onto these uh, chicken strips like so. See how nice that looks right there? You know, you got this nice coated flour. It takes a lot of flour to coat these things. So that when you put them in the pan, they all, don't all come out to the grease. Or you want this flour to really stick. This is what makes a really crispy, crispy chicken tender. So <clears throat> we're about pretty well done. I'm going to add just a touch more because it's a little, little doughy up here. So, and uh, again, once again, we're going to turn. Keep turning now. The powder's more dry on the outside, but there's it's really kind of double coated your chicken. So now it sort of looks like this right here. You got a nice covering on here, and uh, we'll be ready in a few minutes to fry. So going along with that is going to be some green beans with real bacon bits, and this simple cheap box mashed potatoes. But anyway, okay, I want to talk a little bit about the cooking oil. Uh, this cooking oil is about ready. Somewhere around 300 degrees. The way you notice when you put water in here, even if it starts popping, uh, give it another five to six minutes before you put the chicken in. But if you have a meat, uh, some kind of thermometer that, that can get that high, uh, just check your temperature. Okay, I'm not going to do this very long because it's unsafe. <laughs> when it gets around 300 degrees, you're about 300, maybe 320. Yeah. You're about ready to start putting them in. Alright. Oh my. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Alright, he's getting ready to fry it up. I kind of like messed up the video there for a second. But anyway, um, I'll let y'all see when it gets fried. Alright, God bless.